Het is nu al tijd voor de eerste spreker. Uh, ze zullen allemaal ongeveer een uh, kwartiertje presenteren. We gaan eerst naar Noorhan Abujidi van Zuidhogeschool. Zij is lector Smart Urban Redesign. Dus veel plezier. Um, hello. Uh, thanks, Yvonne and jury members for the nomination and for giving me the, this platform to present my research activities and projects. I want to start by highlighting my interest in applied research. I am an architect and urban designer who have passion and drive to create places and cities that are sustainable and vital. As an academic, I strongly believe in the power of research and education to achieve the change and development we want to see in our cities and societies. Thus, the Smart Urban Redesign is one of the 24 research centers at Zoid University of Applied Sciences. For those who do not know, Zoid is located in Limburg region. The lectorate research team consists of a highly skilled researchers with diverse skills and expertise. The lectorate is also attached to the Built Environment Academy that is selected to be top education in the Netherlands for 2020. The lectorate's main ambition is to contribute to the definition and development of Limburg future identity by improving livability, life quality and well-being in neighborhoods using technical and non-technical solutions. We strive that our research and knowledge development have strong impacts on education, innovation and regional development. To achieve the earlier mentioned ambition, the lectorate offers three research programs. The first one is sustainable energy in the built environment that aims at developing and testing new products that contribute to energy neutral built environment. The second research program is circular building technology that aims at circular retrofit of existing built environment by reusing and recycling materials. The third research program that will be the focus of this presentation is Urban Transformations uh, program that aims at sustainable and circular regeneration of built environment. Um, and uh, it is really, uh, uh, the ambition here is to have impacts that go beyond the physical and extend it to the social, spatial and environmental aspects of cities and neighborhoods. For example, the process of developing a piece of infrastructure is seen here as an opportunity to develop it beyond its physical character and transform it into an urban hub to improve life quality and livability in the city. We are also in the process of developing in this spirit diverse projects in Limburg uh, to, to achieve these goals. To achieve also the urban uh, living, uh, uh, urban transformation research program, we are using the methodology of urban living labs uh, that are used here as a tool to develop and manage innovation processes in an open, inclusive and collaborative approach. The urban living lab principles develop answers and processes to the complex questions coming from real life cases. And of course, the quadruple helix here is a very important principle to achieve success in these living labs. The, uh, the, the quadruple helix is used or seen here uh, to facilitate dialogue and collective decision making processes between diverse stakeholders, most importantly the community, on complex and interconnected societal and urban challenges. I will show you now how we used uh, the urban living labs principles in, uh, in our project city deal Kenneth Marken in Maastricht. City Deal Kenneth Marken is a national program that aims to strengthen the relationship between knowledge institutes and the city. It is sponsored and promoted by Agenda Stad and the Ministry of Education, Culture and uh, Science. It is also promoted in 18 cities in the ne Netherlands. For Maastricht Living Lab, we chose uh, uh, to, to have it more in, uh, in a dynamic setting in the city itself. Uh, it is a partnership between Maastricht University, Maastricht Mun Municipality, Zoid and uh, local stakeholders. Uh, the project lead is here by the Lectorat Smart Urban Redesign 
And via this project, we want to contribute uh, to the community, to the city development, as well as develop innovative forms of education. The main challenge that and research question that we wanted to address in Maastricht is how via our research and education we can contribute to develop energy neutral, circular, vital and inclusive neighborhoods in two neighborhoods in Maastricht. We from Zoid managed to mobilize 600 students uh, from 11 uh, academies in diverse years to facilitate the interdisciplinary collaboration among students in this urban living lab context. These 11 academies with diverse disciplines belong to five domains that have the capacity to answer in an integral and inter interdisciplinary way the complex urban questions arise arising in the two neighborhoods. We arrange this interdisciplinary disciplinary collaboration in which students can exchange and teach each other their diverse but complementary perspectives on the same concepts. For example, the built environments and occupational therapy students organized a practical workshop to explain the inclusive city from both design and users perspectives. We organized this interdisciplinary exchange beyond the Zold borders to expand it to Limburg, to the Dutch and international context, to bring other perspectives to the Maastricht challenges. Consequently, the Urban Living Lab had substantial impacts that went beyond disciplines and geographic borders. I give here the example of an international student who benefited from this uh, experiment, Eric Vaca, who is a Colombian student in Sheffield University in the UK. Also, Suzanne Ktesh, who is an architect from the Lebanese University in Lebanon. It is worth mentioning here that we hosted at least 14 nationalities in our design workshop. Organizing activities for 600 students is a huge, of course, process that extended over one year in which we use the output from one phase process to be an input to the following phase to make sure that we have an integral product. The discussion with the stakeholders, especially the community in, is very, in every phase of this process was essential to verify with them uh, if the students' proposals really answer their ambitions and correspond to their problems. Here we engage diverse target groups from the small, from small kids to adolescents, as well as young families and elderly inhabitants in the two neighborhoods. As you can see, the city and its neighborhoods became our campus and site of actions. I want to demonstrate three examples of the students' products and proposals to improve life quality in public spaces in the two neighborhoods. I start with the fourth year built environment students who aspired to bring back livability in the empty and abandoned public spaces in Randwick by proposing a dynamic program, activities that can at attract diverse parts of the community using green infrastructure as a strong element. While the second year occupational therapy students wanted to focus and orient a section of the public space to serve special target groups, mainly kids, they made sure that their proposal is inclusive enough to accommodate kids with special needs. And finally, the fresh young uh, first year ICT students who were challenged to use new technology to make public space more fun and inviting. So they created an app uh, to reimagine and redesign certain spaces with cultural or environmental program. I want to, to conclude by emphasizing on the power of knowledge that can be best exploited to its maximum impact when synergic relations can be established. Thus, I strongly believe that to, uh, to, to, to correspond to the 21st uh, challenges uh, to achieve sustainable built environment. We, we really need interdisciplinary research and education that are essential in the formation of the professional of the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Thank you. We have afgesproken that we Nederlands spreken, because you can also very good uh, uh, Nederlands spreken. Ja. Uh, prachtige aftrap, uh, geweldig om te zien hoe jij met zoveel partners en zoveel uh, disciplines van studies dit soort grote projecten voor elkaar krijgt en echt verandering brengt uh, in de directe omgeving van jouw hogeschool. Vind ik echt nou ja, fantastisch om te zien.
Um, we hebben afgesproken dat Toske die is, uh, zit achter de chat. Dus die kan jullie vragen beantwoorden. Dus als je vragen hebt, stuur ze ook vooral de chat in. Uh, Toske, heb jij een vraag voor Noran? Sorry, ik moet wel unmuten. Dankjewel voor je mooie presentatie, Noran. Um, ik zag dat je heel erg veel nationaliteiten bij elkaar weet te krijgen. En ik vroeg me af of jij die actief hebt geworven of dat die mensen jou vanzelf weten te vinden. Hoe is dat gegaan? Actually, yeah, of course, you know, I am, I am in academia for the past 20 years. I worked in diverse universities in Europe. So I used first my international network. So this is to mobilize uh, the students and uh, the universities that are really very interested in this innovative and non-conventional way of education. And at the same time, also, we did like a call for our workshop uh, and we received like, you know, hundreds of applications, but we, we couldn't really accommodate all these students because this is really a small experimental living lab. Uh, so we are really very proud of uh, this achievement because also I saw how this had impacts on my own students the, uh, at Zoid who were challenged not only to have exchange with, uh, you know, diverse disciplines, but also with international students who are a little bit on the master and PhD level. So we really, uh, we stretched uh, our students and took them if, if outside their comfort zone and challenge them uh, in this exercise. And I can say it was a very successful experience and it had great impacts on our students. Prachtig, dankjewel. En um, we vroegen ons ook nog af, wat is het langdurige impact op een stad als jullie daar een project hebben gedaan? Look, uh, as an urbanist, I uh, I think one of the main issues that that at least it's not really the interventions or the design proposals that we make. It, the most important is to create a platform for dialogue that really uh, is inclusive enough for all relevant stakeholders in the in the city for the decision making. And of course, we, we from practice we know that the community is the one who is not normally engaged in these processes because it's mostly top down. It is by the municipality, it's by the government or the super architect or super planner. So the voices of the community are not well presented or heard in these processes. So for me, this is really the, the great impact that I can bring via my projects. I train my students, the professionals of the future to meet real life challenges uh, in their career. So they are realistic, they know what is at stake. And at the same time, I, I become the voice of the voiceless, which is the community. I want to empower them and give them a platform to say their opinion and be part of this decision making. Mensen blijven dus echt langer betrokken bij uh, hun omgeving na afloop. Ja, ja. ja prachtig. Dank je wel. Um, zijn er nog vragen binnengekomen? Nee, geen kijkersvragen verder. Dan denk ik dat we gewoon nog helemaal op schema liggen om weer verder te gaan. Dank je. Dank je wel, Toske. En dank je wel, Noeran, voor je geweldige aftrap. Ik vind het echt uh, indrukwekkend hoe je zowel zeg maar, heel erg iets betekent voor je lokale... Um, gemeenschap en de, de omgeving van Zuidhogeschool en dat je tegelijkertijd toch ook weer gebruik weet te maken van de mogelijkheden die die internationale context uh, biedt. Echt ontzettend knap. 